Hi guys, so for this video, I'm going to be giving you some tips to improve your shotgun aim. The last time I made a video like this was around 9 months ago. Since then, a ton has changed, including the removal of everyone's favorite shotgun, the pump. Now that I actually think about it, that entire video was about how to improve your pump aim. I did not really talk much about the tack, the lever, or the charge. Thus, after getting a ton of DMs from you guys asking me to make an updated shotgun aim guide, here the heck it is. What I'm gonna do is give some general tips to improve your shotgun aim, some useful in-game creative courses, and then finish off with some Kovax routines. I'm also going to expand on my last shotgun aim video from 9 months ago, so hopefully you're all excited. Without further ado though, let's get right on into it. I'm not sure how many of you guys actually remember the other shotgun aim video, but the first tip in it was to ADS more often. ADS by the way means aim down sight. Anytime you ADS, you drastically tighten the spread of your shotgun crosshair. Not only will this make you do more damage when you hit your shot, but it will actually make you more accurate. ADSing with a shotgun seems pretty busted, right? Well, not exactly. The main reason I gave that advice in the other video was because that was when the pump shotgun was in the game. Pretty much every top tier pro at the time, I'm talking mongrel, Mitro, all of them ads a lot with the pump shotgun. I legitimately counted once how many times mongrel aimed in per game with his pump, and it was insane. You can even watch it in his solo trio arena video, the one he set the world record in. The man aimed down sight like every shot. But Jarian, you just said it. Pumps aren't in the game anymore. Very true, little Timmy. Let's hope they bring it back in season 6. In the meantime though, let's talk about the current shotgun pool and how it relates to ADSing. I really do not think ADSing is that effective with the charge or the tack. Sure, ADSing is not bad if you're holding an angle or if you're just getting a free shot on someone who does not expect it. I just feel like it's not too viable outside of those niche cases. Like, just think about it. When you're in a fight with someone, say you have a tack shotgun, you're not gonna sit there ADSing the entire time. In addition to that, you're not gonna ADS following up an edit. You're just not gonna do that with the tack because it's semi-automatic. The only reason ADSing with the pump was so good was because first off, it was single fire and second off, it was really good when you were accurate. Those gold and purple pumps hit like absolute shrucks. With the charge and the tack on the other hand, that is just not the case. As far as the lever action shotgun goes, it's kind of up to you guys. The lever action is easily the most similar shotgun to the pump that we have in the game right now. Therefore, if you're like Clicks or Mongrel or Benji Fishy and you have that quick edit to ADS combo down, you guys should know what I'm talking about. Don't stop doing that with the lever. Just make sure you guys get used to the pullout animation and the reload time. That thing always throws me off. Because of everything I just said, my next tip is to really focus on your crosshair placement. Easily the most basic crosshair placement tip is to keep your crosshair high up. This makes it way easier to hit higher damage shots because your crosshair will be closer to your opponent's head and upper chest. You should all know that already though. A more advanced tip regarding your crosshair placement is to finish your edits high up and to complete them in the optimal position to hit your opponent with a shot. For example, pretend you just mongrel classic your opponent inside their box. They're currently on the left side of their one by one, you have a ramp over them, and you're gonna edit back for the shot. What I know I would do, which is not good, is edit the right side of the ramp from the back of it to the front of it. This is terrible for your crosshair placement. Just look at the center of the screen to see where my crosshair goes. It leaves the target, it comes back the other way for the edit, it then has to flick onto the target, and does way less damage than it normally would because I was forced to flick. The way more optimal edit for this situation is to edit the side closest to you, the front, to the farthest away the back. My crosshair is now way closer to my opponent compared to the other edit, meaning I'm no longer forced to flick all the way across my screen for the shot. By the way, I learned this from Macwood. I was actually kind of confused at first why he made the edit like this, but then once I saw how much damage he did with his shotgun shot, I sort of realized he did that for a reason. My final shotgun aim tip, really simple, is to actually practice your shotgun aim. I can give you all the tips in the world, but if you never go out and practice them, you're not gonna get better aim. I am actual proof of this. I know all these tips and tricks, yet I don't have enough time to go and practice them. That's why my aim is not that great. Please do not be like me. Actually take my advice, practice what I say to practice, and apply what you learn in training to actual matches. Let's move on to some useful training and practice maps, shall we? Up first, we have the best way to practice your shotgun aim, in-game that is. You guys know it is 1v1 aim duels. This is the second version by Raider. Both versions work, and you need a friend. That's why I have my only friend here. Mr. Kazaki. <laughs> We'll do blue tech first. 2k HP. I think I've showed this map like 10 times. And you guys know there's like 15 different drills. You start it. You got 3 seconds to count down. And then you just 1v1 whoever else is in your lobby. Oh my gosh, I have not missed a shot. 
I'm going off. Remember, you have 2k HP. Your goal is to kill your opponent. How much? Oh, you got destroyed. 760. This man did not even stand a chance. Run it back. Gold tack. Below ramp. One thing that's really good about these aim duels is you can work on your movement. Oh, wow. You can dodge shots as you try to kill your opponent. <laughs> Wait, he's gonna win. 300 HP. That is how much he had left, by the way. He beat me by a lot there. You have all these different weapons. We only care about shotguns, so let's do charge. I really like the high ground, low ground one, because it is realistic. This man wants the low ground. What a psycho. <laughs> Who picks the low ground when they have the option for high ground? Charges is a little slow pace. I think I should have this in the bag, boys. Yeah, he's just hiding. He knows it's over. He knows it's over. 558. I'm too good. I'm not even kidding. Every pro player you guys know, they all do this. They probably do 5k HP, but we're just trying to show. One by two with ramps. There's a ton of different scenarios. They're all very realistic. Oh, you can work on your peaks. <laughs> oh, this is really hard. Even though it looks like my aim is good, it is not. Kazaki might be me here. This is going to be close. <laughs> oh. <gasps> no way! You were 200! No! I thought he was way lower. I'm telling you guys, though, not only is this extremely realistic, it's also really fun. We've done every in-game shotgun besides the dragon's breath. This will be the last one. Whoever wins this is the better cousin. <laughs> oh, man. You do so much damage! And you do not have to reload. Yep. Wait a second. Wait a second. No! How is he 500 HP? Practice map number two. You guys should all know it. It is Skavix Aim Trainer by Don Wozy. This map I usually do not recommend for shotgun courses. That was until Don Wozy actually updated it. There's like two or three new drills in here, which I really like. I also like it because you don't need friends for it. Map is on your screen right now. It'll be in the description like it always is. It'll be at the top of the screen. I'm gonna pick up a tack shotgun. We'll do a lever, charge. Those are all three shotguns in the game. Most of these drills right here are or AR drills or just tracking drills. Like all three of these are tracking drills, but the bounce one is actually pretty useful for shotgun aim. If you do 360, you do one HP for the zombies. As you can see, all the zombies are one shot. You literally just wanna kinda track them. Oh my gosh, I missed that. I miss that too. This isn't so much flick aim. It's kinda the aim that you care about with your shotgun. You're not just flicking the whole time. So this runs for two minutes. In order to get back to the lobby, oh my gosh, just press your dance button and look, you're back. So that was bounce. Next up, we're gonna do reaction CR. This is the new one, which I really like. You're basically in a box and they throw these little zombies at you and it's all about your flick aim. Ooh, ooh, that was a 180 flick. Let's try again. So I'm gonna stand still. <laughs> you can move around if you want, obviously. If you're on a low sense, it's gonna be hard to just flick completely the other way. The X2 twins are so good at that. It's just really hard to consistently do them. <laughs> and you look like an idiot like I do. After that, we're gonna do the other reaction one, which you guys probably know. I'll do free play. You basically put your crosshair right on the green dot and you wait for the little targets. This one is not as crazy in terms of flicks. You can also do it way slower. I think I've hit every shot. You could obviously make this harder on yourself by waiting really, really long, basically until the last second. But I would suggest just trying to master your hip fire sensitivity. I would do this for around two to three minutes. All of these drills together are probably 15 minutes if you do them three or four minutes each. And that is a solid shotgun routine just inside of creative. <laughs> oh, I thought I missed. Nice. Second to last Gavix drill is the popcorn one. We'll do one HP again. I guess we'll do normal free play. In this one, the zombies bounce up and down. So it's kind of more for your vertical shotgun tracking and click timing. Remember, you can build. You want to go closer to the targets. Oh, why? I feel like even though this situation won't happen too much, there's not going to be a target coming down straight above you. It is still useful to practice though, just because you want to master your sensitivity, your hip fire sensitivity that is. The final sort of shotgun drill that you can make a shotgun drill is Skeet Frenzy. I really like this one. Again, 1 HP if you're using a shotgun. And as you can see, it's basically skeet shooting. All these targets come out of nowhere. This is pure click timing. I won't say tracking again because those two are completely different things. But I mean, you are kind of tracking. I'm not completely stupid. Look at that. Oh, that was two for one. Oh my. 
There's too many, actually. I don't think I used any other shotgun this entire time. All the drills I showed are good for every shotgun. So go try them all out. This is one of the better shotgun aim maps, just because there's like five drills like I showed. Let's move on to an actual shotgun course. Only my really OG viewers know this map. It is my shotgun course. I did update it yesterday. I made this probably two years ago. Maybe a year and a half, actually. It is so old, but so good. This is the code for it. It used to say created by Jerry and Grant because that was my old supported creator code. I feel like there's not too many actual shotgun courses. It's literally like an edit course, but it's made for shotguns and your shotgun aim. I put in every shotgun before there used to only be the heavy. Wait, why is that going? I put a timer, but there we go. Anytime you see metal, you're gonna edit it. You can see these are the targets. These weird, like, orange lucky landing looking things. Unfortunately, you can't build on them or they will get destroyed. I probably could update it with sentry robots, but I do like the fact that they're so tiny, you have to be really accurate. Like, if I just try to go fast, look at that. It did not destroy it. You could build... Oh, I missed. <laughs> I completely missed. You could build just as you walk around, but... Over here is the ice. I love this part because I think I just missed. I missed again. I'm gonna quit. Again though, you see metal, you edit, you could add in walls wherever you want. Just don't put in a cone or ramp or else the targets will break. Over here, you could double edit. This is the one part I would put a sentry because you can see. If you try for a triple edit, the target breaks. By the way, the original usage of this was for the T2 Classic. We've come a long way since those days. Over here, you just edit. This time, you edit up. Then you got another ice. I actually can hit these. Oh, never mind. I jinxed it. Oh, okay. Over here, I used to have use code Jerry and Grant. I deleted it. Use code Jerry and hashtag add. This part is nice because there's the sentry who pressures you as you try to destroy the targets. Oh my. I'm gonna wait for him to break the wall. Get the shot off. Oh, and then you can destroy him. Easy. Over here, the target is at the bottom, so you could basically edit however you want. You can do a triple edit, down, boom. This time, the ice the targets are behind. I really need to start aim training more. <laughs> here, you want to place this wall. Nice little bit of peace control, which, by the way, you can establish right over here. You do not need to be on the ground. This part is all about peaks, so don't destroy the sentry right away. There we go. Destroy him after you destroy the orange target. The orange targets always come first. Ooh, this part is basically a freestyle section. You can make whatever edit you want. Remember, don't build a cone or ramp. Let me know if I should update it so you can. I just love these little targets. No other map has them. Over here is for 90s. I forgot about this. This was when everyone cared about 90s. I'm just gonna do random retakes because I don't care. I do what I want when I want. There's also a target. We're almost at the top. Hey, there we go. This is definitely my favorite part because you just bounce. Oh no. You wanna try to hit each target as you go across. Oh my gosh. Oh, please let me hit one. They're not breaking. There we go. Nice. I got all the ones at the end. They're all 1 HP. All right, we're chilling. Do some random builds. Go down the ice. Oh, nope. I jinxed it. Oh, that one's really hard. Coming towards the end here, we have the metal edit down. This is for waterfalls, which I used to be really bad at. I think everyone was. And then the final section, hit off the bat. Oh, I messed it up. You want to run off the bouncer, not jump. Hit the other bouncer, hit the target, and then jump on this. 13-10. That was really bad. I don't even think I destroyed all the targets. But yeah, that is my shotgun course. I finally updated it. You got all the shotguns you could ever want. Let me know down below any adjustments I should make to it. I could probably add on to this or just change stuff around. I mean, it's pretty darn big. Look at this. Me and my cousin put so much work into this. Holy. So if you're sick of these same aim trainers, you want a fun course, that only takes five minutes. Load up It's Jarian's shotgun course. To finish off the video, yes, we have Kovacs. Every single pro does Kovacs. I think creative aim training is really good, but most top aimers say that Kovacs is better. So I'm gonna show what they do. Before that though, let me show you the settings. First on the main settings, you want your sensitivity scale on Fortnite percent. From there, just put in the sensitivity that you use. I'm on 800 DPI, 7.6%. My vertical or my Y sense is the same. So I have that checked. After that, FOV measurements. You want Overwatch. You do not want Fortnite. You also want 
FOV on the max, which is 103. And then the only other thing is your weapons. Go to hide weapon and check that. You do not want to see your weapon. You only want the crosshair, which you can see right here. You can make it whatever color you want. And yeah, that's basically all you need to set up Kovacs. Let's go through the top five shotgun aim drills. As you can see on the right over here, I have all of them lined up. We're going to go in order, starting with fast pump flick. The targets come in really fast and your goal is just to kind of flick onto them if you even can. I'm on a medium sense. My aim is terrible. There we go. Finally got to. There we go. You can tell I really need it. This is all about reaction time. Most aim coaches say to do them around five times. So this will be my second. Hopefully I can beat my score. Not looking good though. Oh my. I'm on too low of a sense to actually flick. This is some BS. So next up is close, fast strafe shotgun. This one is a lot easier. It's all click timing. It's not just reaction, which I am terrible at. You get a good bit of tracking here. It's also one shot you get each time. You're not just holding down the fire button. You want to focus on your aim here and the crosshair. Noah really does all of these drills. I bet we can find him on the leaderboard. Flop a fray. That's an EU pro. <laughs> Third on the list is one of Noah Rayleigh's favorite. It is called One Wall Six Targets TE Reload. There's six targets on the wall at all times, and your goal is to destroy as many as you can. This is really good for your mouse control, which I evidently need to work on. You don't want to just flick like a maniac, all crazy. You want to control the speed of your mouse, get used to it. Five seconds, I just missed so many shots. No! Ooh, 3,000! That's really good. I'm an aiming prodigy, huh? Fourth drill that we're going to move on to is bounce 180 large. I really like this one because as you can see, I'm actually decent at it. This is all click timing right here. Click timing meaning you have to time when to click. 3,000th again. Okay, okay. Oh, look at this. Scented is up here. Number 35. Holy. I bet Noah Rayleigh. Yep, there he is. Number 58. One of the best EU pros. Let me run it back real quick. A few minutes later. <sighs> I improved. Top 3,000. I'm coming for you, Noah Rayleigh. Really. To finish out the Kovacs drills, we have Charge, Close, Fast, Strafe, Shotgun, Invincible. You could probably guess what it looks like from the sound, but it is for your charge aim. So you see how above the charge shotgun, there's a little bar. That is basically how much I'm charging up. So I'm holding down right click right now. Oh my. You can either let go immediately, really fast like you do in game for a quick shot as I held it down. Or you could hold it down like I've been doing and go for a really high damage shot. Nice. I'm dumping on him. He'd be dead. Top 7,500. Oh, that's not terrible. It is not as bad as the first ones. Advith is up there. Aimer 7. Hey, there's threats. If seeing all these pros is not proof enough that Kovacs does help your aim in game, I don't know what else could. Overall, guys, that is how to improve your shotgun aim in Chapter 2, Season 5, and beyond. So, if you enjoyed the video or you learned something new, do be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel somewhere down here, and to turn on my post notifications. Shout out to everyone on the screen for using code Jarian. I appreciate each and every one of you. I say it every video, but I really do appreciate all you guys. The new season is coming really fast, so make sure you use code Jarian for the battle pass. Otherwise, that's it for me, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later!